Olá pessoal, eu sou o Spartini, muito bem-vindos ao meu canal. Aqui vão encontrar todo o tipo de jogos, seja em direto, guias ou apenas gameplay. Se é algo que te interessa, subscreve o canal e dá já um like neste vídeo para o algoritmo do YouTube. Agradeço imenso. Ora, hoje temos Lost Worlds Beyond the Page, que nos coloca no papel de Lizzie, uma menina comum, com uma imaginação mais ou menos fértil do que as outras da sua idade, em um diário, ela irá escrever as suas impressões sobre a sua família, os sentimentos que atravessa, o seu quotidiano e os obstáculos que enfrenta para concluir a sua primeira história. Por outro lado, nós também somos apresentados a um universo dessa história, esse drama dentro do drama que afeta e é afetada pelos eventos do mundo real da nossa pequena Lizzie. Temos então um mundo mágico, com o real dialogando constantemente, a arte dentro da arte, traduzido e introduzível, que é a vida de Lizzie, mexendo em feridas e ajudando no processo de cicatrização. É um jogo emotivo, com uma história bonita, mas ao mesmo tempo muito triste. Erguer, reconstruir ou deixar queimar. Por hoje é tudo e vejo-vos no próximo. This book belongs to me. Hello, journal. Is it okay if I call you that? It's a bit formal, I know. But we've only just met. Let me introduce myself. I'm Isabel Barbara Cook. Most people call me Izzy, not Dad. He calls me Titch. He's such a numpty head. My little brother Ben calls me Isbo. I call him he who chews curtains. He likes red for breakfast and blue for dinner. And then there's Mom, my top tea drinking buddy. Ah! I go get my tea and this is Pinky. I think she's jealous of you, Journal. Today's my birthday. Dad made his best cake. Mum and Gran started the singing. Ben gurgled along. I blew out the candles. And made a wish. Since I was little, I've always dreamed of becoming a writer. This is where you come in, Journal. Gran always says, A writer writes. No one ever got anything just by wanting it. I guess that birthday wish was a waste then. Gran's 
said writing is about exploring your thoughts. It helps you unlock your feelings. I'd like to write something that will make Gran smile. She always talks about little acorns growing into big trees. Is that to make me feel better about my height? Or about my writing? I want to write a story, but what kind? A romance? Science fiction? A comedy? A drama? Fairy tales! Wait, we're getting somewhere! A fantasy story! So, how do I start my fantasy story? Once upon a time... Ugh, no one said this would be easy. Again, from the top! Not so far away, in the land of... Astoria. A place of peace and magic. There lived a girl named... Grace. Everyone knew her by the bright colour. Of her green dress, she was ready to begin her adventure. In fact, she'd been preparing for it her whole life, for she was the only apprentice of the village guardian, Elder Ava. Everyone was very fond of Grace. Her heart was full of curiosity and compassion. The villagers agreed that no one was... as kind as her. Too far away in the land of Astoria. There lived a young girl named Grace. She was kind and loved taking care of the world around her. Suddenly, a faint speck of light floated down and began to buzz around Grace. Hello, little firefly. Did you come for my birthday? Oh, Elder Ava's gonna be so happy! Let's head back to the village. The firefly shared Grace's excitement. I was also planning to make Elder Ava a fruit. Maybe we can find some more berries on the way back, firefly. That's a juicy one. Good job, Firefly. Nice and fat. This will be perfect. Another! Do fireflies drink much? Come on, Firefly! The village is just a bit further down. Wahoo! I love doing that. 
The bridge was an old, creaky affair. Careful, Grace. Careful. Grace imagined shark fins circling below. Phew! We made it, Firefly. And... Down! Grace knew many secret paths back to the village. Like this one! She loved feeling the roots around her, as if the tree was giving her a gentle hug. Just one more little slide. Here we go! The old cargo lift, barely used. entrance to the village above. Grace couldn't wait to give Elder Ava a hug. She'd be so proud that her firefly came. Look, firefly. Home. The warm lights and enticing smells of Elder Ava's home. Happy birthday, Grace. I've made a new friend. One of our sacred fireflies. This is a very special thing indeed. Does this mean... Yes, it is time. Would you fetch me that box, please? Ava was sure that Grace would rise to the occasion. Go ahead, open it. This will store all the magic words you find. Some will stay with you, others are fleeting. They will help you overcome any obstacle. Now, your training is complete. Congratulations, new guardian of the fireflies. Guardian? But that's you. Guardian in retirement now. You should head to the Shrine Tree for the other Firefly's blessing. I'll join you shortly, dear. Oh, before I forget, a little something of mine to mark the occasion. Elder Ava reached inside her pocket and handed Grace a gift. Ava's favorite pendant, Emerald. Now off you go. I'm so proud of you, Grace. Wait to try out my magic book. And all at once, Grace was surrounded by the hustle and bustle of village life. Oh, how'd you do that? Wait a minute. She's got the power. She must have the book. Grace well, we loved throwing stones the over the Grace rooftops. Must be the new firefly but not today. That was amazing. The best thing Today, I've seen the Firefly morning. Shrine was waiting. Grace has the book. Oh, miss. Go on. 
She looked over her bustling treetop village. I heard you had a bit of leaf mold. This was all she knew. Yeah, Elder Bassus gave me a poultice. Did it work? Cleared it right And up. it was home. Looks better than ever. Smell that. That's the scent of paradise. I can always use more paradise. Take ten. But inside, she was still curious. Hey, Grace. Happy birthday. No, you can't have a magic book. Good to see you, Grace. But Grace has one. But that's different. She's special. But you say I'm special. Careful, careful. No need to rush. About the world that lay beyond.